Hello everyone, so a little bit of a side video this time. I was playing Bloodborne, and I was watching as I was making progress. My health bar was increasing in size, so I thought, hmm, wonder how we could do that. So that's what we're going to go over right now, because it's actually not too complicated. So let's jump over into my new empty project. Alright, so in here I have done nothing yet. I was trying to change the mannequin mesh to those silver new ones, can't find them. But other than that, I've done absolutely nothing. So I'm going to go create. The first thing I want to do is create my widget blueprint user widget. I'm going to call this my player HUD underscore widget. I'm going to open it up. Now, one of the things that's new in Unreal Engine 5 is you don't have a canvas panel automatically. But you can just right click, wrap with canvas panel. That did nothing. All right, I'm just going to type it in. I'm going to just drag it down. Yeah, I thought it would work. I didn't try it, but okay. Now I am going to, just because I always do this with uh, my canvas panels, I'm going to wrap it with a scale box and then a size box. I'm going to width and height override to my specs that I want it to be. And then now we can get started. So first thing I'm going, or the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out a progress bar that will represent my health bar. So I'm going to rename it to health bar. I'm going to set it to the size I want. I'm thinking 350 by 30. That looks pretty good. I'm going to set its X and Y to 50, 50. Alright, and then in the graph, I'm going to get rid of the pre-construct and the event tick. On construct, I want to cast to my third person character, or whatever your character blueprint is called, for the object, get player character. Okay. And then I'm going to right click, promote that to a variable called player ref, from a player reference. Now, I'm going to right click right here and create a custom event called set HP bar size. Now, I'm going to grab out that health bar and I'm going to drag off. And first, we want to slot it as a canvas slot. So, you want to grab it as a slot as canvas slot. You can't directly alter this thing's size, but if you slot it as a canvas slot, then you can set the size right here. Now we don't have anything to tell it what size we want it right now but we're gonna do that right here in the third person character. So I'm gonna find some space and add a one input event just to get it in place and then I'm gonna add three variables. This will be my character's current health and it will be, there's not floats anymore they're called reels. I don't know why the change but that's what that is now. I'm gonna add a max health and this is going to be my health bar size. Gonna give these some default values 100 for the current health, 100 for the max health, and the health bar size will be just one. Compile that real quick. Now, when we hit one, we want to get our max health, and I'm going to add. Let's say 50 to it, and then I will set the max health to the new amount. And then for the health bar size, I'm going to get that, add, and for this I'm just going to do 0 0.01, so it increases by 1% in size each time. And then I will set the health bar size to that there. Now we do need to add a begin play so that we can create our widget. So we're going to drag off that and do create widget. Create widget. There you are. The class will be our player HUD. Going to promote that to a variable called HUD ref. And then we'll add that to viewport. So right here at the end, after we've increased our character's health size, let's grab out our HUD reference and call that set bar si HP bar size function. So with all that done, let's jump back over into our player HUD widget, and now we can affect these parameters. Let's grab our player reference, 
get bar size. And for the in size right here, we're going to, is it make or break? We're going to make a vector. So I don't want it to increase up and down, so I'm just going to hard code that to 30. And for the health bar size, I'm going to take my initial starting size of my health bar, which was 350, and do a float times float. So float, multiply float. I want this one to actually be in the bottom. So we'll do 350 times our health bar size. So once it's 1.01, it would actually be 350 times 1.0. So whatever that is, I don't know. I'm not doing the math, but yeah. So one last thing we need to do is we need to affect our actual health percent progress. Let's create a binding real quick. So I'm going to get my player reference and get the current health and then the max health and then I'm going to divide the current by the max. Current has to be the top one. That way it always, because if you divide this number by this number, it'll always come between a decimal point, between 0 and 1. So that's what you want. Now I'm going to go back in here. I'm just going to knock this down. Maybe I'll increase it by 10 each time, since it's only going up like 1%. Doesn't really matter. I don't guess that's just a finicky thing on my end, I suppose. But then when we jump in, Oh yeah, it's jumping down too much. Let's see. Maybe I'll just increase it by 1. Since it's at 100, it's increasing by 1%. Increasing by 1%, it should match up pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Now our health bar grows in size as we level up. So yeah, pretty quick one this time. Um, Hope you liked it. I noticed that there wasn't very much covering this. There was a lot about health bars, but not about increasing their size. So, yeah, you can do this in any increment that you like, too. So, let's say if I increase my health by 25, and then I increase the size by 0.25. So, let's say they just get one power up that increases their health by a set amount. Then there you go. You just want to make sure that they're matching, and it shouldn't affect your where your health bar currently is at, you know, health-wise. But there, Kingdom Hearts style, you can... Doesn't even... <laughs> you could set in, like, a... You could clamp this size, make it to where it's not... It doesn't go over a size. So if we clamp... the float, it can be between one and three times the size. Let's see. So then it reaches a certain point and then it just increases in the other direction so that you can stop it from going too far. But yeah, that's how you do that. So I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see y'all soon. Bye bye.